and in the case of Nigeria, and in the case of most of Africa, the language of religion, the language of belief, uh, in, infiltrates every aspect of life. So to the extent that, uh, that an, a health-oriented project or organization can, uh, can use that language or speak in that language as well, it, it helps a connection, it helps build credibility, it helps build trust. Uh, I think it also helps communicate and facilitate messages being delivered um, and, and understanding how people see themselves. Um, I work for a secular organization that uh, has, has people of multiple faiths and of no faiths working for it. Um, we are, <coughs> that gives us a certain neutrality in working with Muslims and Christians and others in the context where we work. Uh, what we find is uh, the bridges, building the bridges between those who do not want to necessarily speak the language or do not necessarily know how to speak the language of faith uh, is it's not always easy. Uh, there's the, there are the big international donors, the World Bank and others, who have quite a number of people who understand uh, the faith perspective and understand that it's hugely important. Uh, we have Quentin and Catherine are, are leading examples. They are the cutting edge of this, certainly. Um, at the same time, there are people who, who see faith um, with, uh, from a secular point of view and perhaps with some, some element of suspicion. Um, we can think of the, the first half of Ray Suarez's uh, segment on, the, on this program where uh, historically northern Nigerian uh, imams and religious leaders were, were part of the problem uh, in, in, in relation to polio, uh, uh, the vaccine uh, initiative in polio. Um, they're, they're bridging that, that divide basically as a question of, of A, education, of the of the faith leaders, getting them to understand um, what uh, what the specific implications of their actions are, and understanding why um, uh, the interests of their personal communities, their local communities, uh, may be best uh, may be best served by an ongoing dialogue with the public sector, and educating the public sector on how to interact with the faith leaders. Uh, it's it's a process. Uh, it's it's slow sometimes, but uh, you know I'll stop here. But I think I think there's hope for it in in a lot of Africa.